true Bahamian passion. Um, hi. I'm. Ooh, let me turn this down a little bit more, just in case, so this don't get caught. Here we go. Hi. Hello. It's me, Danny. I hope y'all doing well. Hi. It's me. It's it's me. It's Danny. Hola. Hola. <laughs> hope y'all doing well. Hope y'all having a good time. Um. Is that, I know it is, it is a face cam Danny, and now face cam Danny can properly say thank you so much for that sub and video of 27 months is wild to me. <laughs> then that really means a lot. Thank you. Um, hi. Um, it's me, it's Danny. It's, uh, Educator Danny. Um, by the way, Educator Danny. I'm gonna be educating y'all today. Um, so, ah, dragon! Danny face cam a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Thank you so much, Lab. My bad. Thank you for the sub. Hello, hello. Thank you. I you didn't have to do that, but thank you. I mean, I appreciate that, Lab. Thank you. Twenty nine months. That's wild. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Right? <laughs> no, don't. No, you don't have to do that. No, no, no. no. But yes. Hi. Hello. Hi, Lem. Hi, I'm going to see you. Hi, Drag. It's very good to have you all here. Um, if you don't know, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, turn this on even more just in case. Uh, there we go. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna be teaching you all about some stuff in the Bahamas. I've put together a little like mini, a mini like present. Pre presentation, you know what I'm saying? Um, because yesterday, for those who don't know, it was the 50th anniversary of the of our of the Bahamas' independence. Um, and I live in the Bahamas. I'm a Bahamian creator. Uh, and uh, it feels like you think you're like stop it. You're no, you're fine. Um, that was yesterday, and I was gonna do this yesterday, but I was tired. But um, but we're gonna do it today. We're gonna do a little go through. I'm gonna teach y'all just like a couple like small things. It's not gonna be like a whole presentation, like hour long, anything like that. It's gonna be something small. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna go hop over to doing some art for Art Fight because Art Fight is this month and I haven't done a, 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 a goddamn thing for it yet. Uh, so uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Um, so yeah, hope y'all uh, enjoy this. Um, so, why don't we, I, have to, I hope I can do this properly, why don't we go here. Ba-bow! Hold on. One second, I need to get my phone. So what we're gonna do is, uh... As you can see, I did make this in But stop why is I'm why is TikTok open? Oh my god. Everybody everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. What is A why is AR emoji editor downloading on my phone? Okay. Uh, hey, hold on. Hold on. I need to open hold on, hold on. Y'all be calm. Be be calm. Be calm. Be calm. Okay, yep, live. Go to no go no strict no. No, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Hi. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to turn off all this stuff for now. Just for, like, uh, just so it's easier to see. And now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to open... Oh, if I open it like this... Okay, that makes more sense. Do I have a fan on? I do. Can you hear it? Oh, that's embarrassing. It's hot. I'm an air conditioner, but it's hot. If you something else, it's an air conditioner. And that's not getting turned off today. Okay, that's part of the payment experience. It's having the AC on 24-7 because it's too hot over here. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to click on present. Present full screen. Can I... Present. Here we go. Okay. Wait. 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 Okay. That's like. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. Welcome to my little presentation. 
where we are learning about the Bahamas. Otherwise known as a very poor presentation by Shimmer Danny's Corner and where she lives because it's the 50th anniversary of our independence and I have a duty to teach y'all some things because when have you ever seen another behavior before on Twitch in your life? This is a joke. There are other behaviors on Twitch. I am not the only one. Please do not do not tell that to the presses. I am not saying I'm the only behavior to exist on the internet. Legally. Ahem. <clears throat> the Bahamas the Bahamas is independence. Okay. This sort of mainly why we're here. Okay, over here you can see over here. This is the this is the Bahamas. All of this this is all of this is the Bahamas. All right, Bahamas is not just one island. It's an archipelago. The Bahamas is an archipelago. Damn, an archipelago made up of seven hundred islands and keys. The capital of which being New Providence, Nassau, which is right here, I believe. Yes, Nassau is right. Is that Nassau? I believe this is Nassau. Wait, is that Nassau? I believe this is Nassau. Um, this is the capital. The Bahamas was originally discovered, quote unquote, by Christopher Columbus on October 14th, 1492, where he landed on an island inhabited by the Lucayan people named Guanahani. I hope I said that right. I did look into it, but Guanahani. But, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Crackerjack didn't like that. Didn't like Guanahani. Was 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 too much for him. So he renamed it to San Salvador. Now I'm not gonna go into like too much stuff with like slavery and like uh, the fight to get independent because I we we try to keep it something light. We want to celebrate our independence, not talk about the hardships of it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. Long story short, uh, we were under British rule for 300 years until July 10th, 1973, where we became our own independent nation. And that's the way it's been for 50 years now. We are, the Bahamas is its own independent nation now. Um, any questions before we move on? And I wait for questions, I will continue. The Bahamas is known as a uh, Christian nation. It is, uh, that's, the, that's the main religion here. Um... We are, uh, again, 700 islands and key is one of the, let me see, you should know, like, some of the other islands, there's Abaco, there's Long Island, there's Cat Island, um, Bimini, uh, I don't believe the Turks and Caicos is a part of the Bahamas, I don't think, I know, I think, it, ooh, ooh, Danny, ooh, Danny, we Googling things already? Turks, and who is the current person? Uh, so we have a prime minister, a prime minister, um, no, the, Tur the Turks and Caicos, Turks and Caicos is an archipelago, my bad, uh, we have a prime minister, oh no, prime minister, Philip Davis, what is this, you, okay, so right now, um, he reminds us who I was thinking of, but okay. So right now, our we have Prime Minister, Prime Minister Philip Davis, um, uh, is the who has been the Prime Minister since 2021, and the Prime Minister before that was prior uh, was Prime Minister Hubert Minnis, um, and then I believe it was Anne Davis. Oh wait, no, Anne Marie Davis. No, 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 no. Sorry, my bad. Uh, bad, bad, bad. Sorry, Philip Davis. Before that, I believe it was Hubert Minnis, and then before Hubert Minnis, it was Perry Christie. Um, so yeah, the Bahamas doesn't have like presidents. Um, we don't go by a presidency. We have um, a prime minister, and then we have like different political parties. Uh, prime Minister Philip Davis is part of the PLP or the Progressive Liberal Party. Um, and yeah, we have the. So there's like different um the different uh different like parties like uh political parties there's the PLP there's the FNM and there's the there's another one that nobody else talks about uh PLP is it FNM? Yeah, it's the PLP, it's the FNM and um oh my god, there's another one. Yeah, hold on, let me pull up members of parliament. Here we go. Oh, wait, nope. Just so far, they're not answer any of my questions. 
What are the political parties in the Bahamas? The PLP, the FNM, the BDP, the UBP, and the BDLP. Now let me tell you, I know PLP, FNM, BDP. You know? Wait, a BDP or BDM? What is BDM? What are you talking about? Why are you lying to me? I live here. You can't lie to me. I live here. I know the P. I know. I I see. They, let me tell you, they they be putting signs everywhere when it come election time. Um. Anyways, PLP, FNM, uh, BDP. Next. Next, we're going to go into the Bahamas. The Bahamas national symbols. Um, these are the national symbols of the Bahamas. I believe every girl she has national symbols. We right here we have our coat of arms, and then we have our four other national symbols um, that you can see, sort of see on the coat of arms. We have our national bird, national bird being the flamingo. Our national tree, which is the lignum vitae, or I believe it's called the tree of life. I believe is what it's like considered. It's the tree of life. Then we have the yellow elder flower, that's our national flower. And then we have our national fish, which is the blue marlin. Um, so there you go, those are our uh, national symbols. Just, um, the stuff we learned very, very early on. Um, and I'm going to pause the music real quick because we also have our national theme song. <laughs> No, our national anthem, which I will play for y'all right now. This national anthem. Um, called March on Bahamaland. Uh, now, when I tell you, listen. Uh, there's like the flag will pledge our allegiance. I pledge my allegiance to the flag and to the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And oh no! <laughs> hold on, wait, no, 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 I pledge my allegiance unto the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, for which it stands. One, huh? This is not the. What are you talking about? Oh, okay, no, this is it. My bad. I okay, I was right. I don't know why I doubted myself. I pledge my allegiance to the flag and to the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, for which it stands. One people, united in love and service. That is our Pledge of Allegiance. And then we have our national anthem, which is uh, March on Bahama Land. Here we go. This better be the one where they pop up with the, with the vocals, because I will not, do not embarrass me for any of these people. This, this long intro. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. This, okay, let's go to you. Okay. To Let me shut up. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's the. Okay, so you get the idea, though. It's like, okay, that's the. That's the. That's our national anthem. Do y'all want to hear the. I don't know if y'all want to hear the full thing. I don't. It, it's, it's just a little like the, the energy is like different. I feel like it's also very poor of me to actually pause this in the middle of the. Of the anthem. I feel like that's not a good thing for me to do. But you know, y'all better be learn. Hi, Candy. Um, uh, but you know, if I can play the full thing, if that's what is requested of me. But you know, it goes lift up your head to the rising sun, Bahama land. March on to glory, your bright banner is waving high. See how the world marks the manner of your bearing. Pledge to excel through love and unity, pressing onward, march together to a common loftier goal. Steady sunward, though the weather had the wide and treacherous shoal. Lift up your head to the rising sun, Bahama land. Till the road you trod lead unto your God. March on, Bahama land. You know, that's the. Um, there you go. That's 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 the whole thing. So just keep that in mind. Next. Bohemian culture. There we go. I'm going to teach you, just talk about a couple of small things about Bohemian culture. First, we're going to talk about the junk canoe. We love, thank you. <laughs> I'm tr thank you. 
Junkanoo. So Junkanoo is a street parade that was originally a festival of celebration created by enslaved Africans in the Bahamas as a celebration of freedom and the holidays. It is celebrated on December 26th and January 1st, usually past midnight and into the early morning hours. So Junkanoo is um, like a street parade, a street festival um, where you see a bunch of these different groups are dedicated to Junkanoo sort of they get dressed up they put on these like very colorful costumes and they have these performances and they essentially go down the street of downtown um usually and they do like these these dances they play this music and they have these routines um it's very very nice I've never personally been to Junkanoo myself because Junkanoo usually takes place at like two in the morning and then goes on like early morning hours sometimes it's earlier but it usually takes place it generally takes place at night essentially um but let me see real quick if i can can i get a little video junkanoo they also have junk they also do like junkanoo performances during um during our independence day as well that's usually one time that's where they do junkanoo performances um like there's very popular ones the one that I've, that's very popular is Valley Boys. That's one of the popular uh, Junkanoo teams. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find a good video. So, hold on. Pause this. This is this video is from... Uh, this is from... Oh, why is it doing that? Stop. Uh, put in junk new 4K. Okay, this is from uh, here we go. This is from yesterday. This was uploaded yesterday, um, because junk new they did it during uh Independence Day parade. Uh, let me see if I can just get like here we go. You see, they do a lot of like, um, sort of like trumpets, drums are like big things in like Bahamian music. And you see, they have like the colors of the flag, so black, yellow, blue. And this is somewhere downtown, I believe. But yeah, let me see if I can find. Here we go. I just have to find them doing some music. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You, you. This is not good quality. Here we go. So you can see like the very colorful like outfits. So hot. It's probably so hot to be moving in these. I'm not gonna lie to you. I envy, not envy, but it's like I, it's, I, it's very. I find like drunkenly performance very impressive. But yeah. So also, this video was filmed by a Corey Cumberbatch and was uploaded yesterday. Um. So. Yeah. Uh, wait, did I turn off the- There we go. So yeah, that's just a little taste of what Junkanoo sort of looks like. Uh, obviously, like, actual Junkanoo, like, Junkanoo Rush, and, like, is very different. Um, there's much more energy and stuff going on, but that's just a little, like, taste of, like, pro what the costume and what the music sounds like. Next, we have Rake and Scrape. So, um, rake and scrape is a genre of traditional Bahamian folk music known for its unique sound and made instruments being saws, goatskin drums, and the accordion, though other instruments are used as well. So, uh, rake and scrape genre of music, uh, Bahamian music, also known as like a, a goombe genre, I believe. I believe I could be wrong. Um, it's not also called goombe, but goombe is like, falls under that area of like Caribbean music. 
Um, and, uh, let me think. I'm, I, I'm also gonna get some music. I played some Rake and Scrape at the start of this. Like, that was one of the intro at the beginning of the stream. That was one of the things I played. Um, but Rake and Scrape, uh, it utilizes things like saws, goat skin drums. I've actually pl played on a goat skin drum before when I was in elementary school. Uh, they showed, they, like, they brought, like, goat skin drums. I think we, actually, no, I think I made one. I think we, like, made the drums, I think. That was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, that was sort of, that's what, uh, Rake and Scrape is. It's, like, very unique sound of music. And if I look up Rake and Scrape. Uh, here we go. Uh, let me see if I can find music. This is the music that I was playing at the start of the stream, so it's, but it's very important. Uh, this song's called Rake and Scrape, Mama. I'm gonna say Rake and Scrape with it here. Breaking and scraping, my butter don't like no breaking and scraping it. Sorry, okay. So, so, you see, they they have like, oh, actually, hold on, maybe I can find like a video of like, hold on, 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 hold on. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, get you, here we go. So this is a group of people, uh, but apparently Bohog and the Rooters doing playing Rick and Scrape. So you can see how they use the like. Oh, she's killing it on this on the saw. Not gonna lie to you. It always scared me seeing them use the saw like this. I was like, how are you doing that? But it's really interesting, I think. At least to me, I find it very interesting. Like, the ability to make music. And yeah, I believe the, she also being on a goat skin drum. I believe I could be wrong. Um. But yeah, that's a little a little example of what rake and scrape sort of sounds like. Uh, and then next we have traditional foods. Um, obviously, the Bahamas is an island, um, and we are very well known for our seafood. Seafood is probably the main cuisine. Cuisine is seen in most of our foods. In the Bahamas, the most popular common foods being conch, crab, souse, johnny bread, pizza, rice, and other sort of fish foods. Now, um, as you can see in this image here, these are conch fritters. Um, excuse me. Well, that's something that's very popular in the Bahamas. Uh, we have uh, conch fritters. We have crack conch, conch salad. Um, and then you have like different like sort of souse. Uh, you have know, like the crab i was about to say crab cakes but like you know crab crab and rice stuff like that crab and rice peas and rice um rice is a very big dish over here as well fried fish uh grupa i believe is like a big fish that's usually used in a lot of the dishes here um there's johnny bread which is a sort a type of bread obviously if i look up johnny bread why did i look up john it gave me john the baptist death that's a little crazy to me um, but yes, it's, um, I believe, I've never made it myself. Uh, but yeah, it's like a biscuit, biscuity sort of bread, essentially. Um, and it tastes very, very good. Um, it's made of, uh, I mean, it's, hold on, how do I, how do you, let me see. Let me, let me see this real quick. It's a dance bread, it's a, uh, blah, blah. Uh, ba ba ba. Uh, flour, butter, sugar, water, salt, baking powder, and milk. I believe is how you make. Uh, those are the ingredients of it. Johnny bread or Johnny cake is another way to call it. Um, that's another one. Um, but people usually say if you ask anybody, I would probably say Johnny bread. 
if you ask anybody over here. Um, let me see. Can I find... Uh, here we go. Let me do this. Here you go. So you see, this is sort of what Johnny... So what Johnny Bread looks like. Uh, has that. And then if I look up Kong Fritters, this is what Kong Fritters looks like. Kong Fritters is very good. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I want to. Uh, would I be. Oh, I doubt I would be able to. I was thinking. Oh, I just had the idea for like, I could maybe try bringing some to. Have Bree try it, maybe? I don't know. I doubt I'll be able to. I probably wouldn't be able to. Ah, I'll figure it out. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um. For those who don't know, I'm going to Connecticut. Uh, next. Next week? I'm going to Connecticut next week. <laughs> uh, I was trying to, so I was trying to think of, ooh, what if I brought, um, brought some, like, Bahamian foods and we do, like, a little thing, but I don't think I'd be able to. Um, but yes. We also have, um, let me think, what else is like, uh, oh, daiquiris, daiquiris are a big thing, obviously not Bahamian only, but I feel like when people think daiquiri, I think they think of Bahamas, I could be very wrong, a daiquiri could not be a Bahamian thing, and I could be, daiquiri origins, hold on, uh, also, none of these look like a daiquiri. Uh, this is like more of the daiquiri I know. It's more like it looks more like not ice creamy, but anyways, um, it's usually fluffier is the daiquiris I'm looking at. If I look up, oh, Bahamian daiquiri. There we go. See, this is usually what. Yeah, this is more of what I know. Um, is these sort of daiquiris from here? There's like a. Very popular place, um, or was very popular, I'm not sure if that's as popular or not right now, but there's a place called Twin Brothers, um, that's like a food place over here, that's usually where I used to get daiquiri from. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, it looks very different. This is usually the daiquiri from Twin Brothers, you get like vanilla and strawberry, this is like a mix of vanilla and strawberry. Um, but yeah, uh, let me think, are there any other foods? Let's see, uh... I can show you a crack conk, hold on. Crack conk. So this is what crack conk looks like. Uh, it's just, it's just a different way of preparing conk, essentially. Uh, this is also, here you go. Uh, this is a nice sort of casual, usual behavior. You have crack conk, you have peas and rice, and then I believe that's, uh, that might just be a salad, but I was thinking that was like conk salad. No, I think that's just a salad. Um... But, uh, yeah, so, um, let me think, uh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, oh my god, what is it called, wait, 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 there's a dessert I need to show y'all, there's a dessert I need to show y'all, uh, what is it called, Bahamian dessert, oh my god, I forgot what it's called, uh, no, no, guava duff, here we go, guava duff is another very, a very big Bahamian dessert. It's a Bahamian sort of pudding, uh, allegedly. Um, it tastes very, very good. I haven't had guava duff in a very long time. Um, but yeah, it's very sweet and it's very like when at least depending on how you make it, it can be very soft. Um, as you see, there's like little there's like guava mixed in it. There's like actual like bits of guava in it. Um, so um, yeah. Sorry, I could talk about Bahamian foods for a very long time. Bahamian foods are very good. Um, and okay, if we let's go back to our little thing over here. Next, we have language. <laughs> language of the Bahamas. Hi, X. Hello. I'm giving a little presentation right now. Um, I'm trying to teach y'all about some of the things of the Bahamas because it was our fiftieth. It was our fiftieth uh, years of independence yesterday. Yes, language of the Bahamas, or Bahamianese, uh, the Bahamian dialect. 
Though the official spoken language of the Bahamas is English, there is a form of English dialect. There is a form of English as dialect known as Bahamian Creole or Bahamianese that is popularly spoken here. This is shown through phrases, ways of speaking, tone of voice, and unique slang. "Quote unquote." Slang isn't really the best word for me to use, but because yeah, but it's a yeah. This doesn't mean this dialect is necessarily improper speak, and it's important to remember this is our way of speaking and not just broken English. That's something I want to clarify because, you know, it's, um, people could just hear what they say, like, hear people talking like this and be like, oh, that they, they speak it like, like, that's like not, like, they're like, uh, that's like improper speech or like broken English or it's like, um, and I guess you could, you could ways to call it like a broken or improper English if, but it's like, it, it's like, it's our own, it's our own form of dialect. And so it's like, it ain't, it ain't like. I, I wouldn't go up to like Bahamian and be like like a the the person like a Bahamian speaking English and like an American speaking English and the Bahamian is like the wrong way of saying it or it's like a broken way of saying it. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't say it like that and you probably shouldn't say it like that. Um and right here I've written down some examples of Bahamianese and also some popular phrases and terms that are used over here in the Bahamas. Um there's Conky Joe, which is a uh, a white Bahamian. Um there's Mudda Sick, all well uh, well mudo. Well, but I was like, when I say well, I'm like, it's like, I talk to a lot of people who are not Bahamian <laughs> because, you know, uh, so it's like, like the way I speak online and the way I speak in real life or around people in real life is very, is like a tiny bit different. Um, like, cause like, oh, of like, you feel like, well, I think, like, well, mudo, like, <laughs> like, a, like, I'm like, I'm. Uh, Taurus, uh, but be like well, like well, like you would say like with a V. It's usually how like a lot of people say like, it would be said like well, mother sick, like stuff like that. Um, but it's basically a Bahamian way of saying oh my gosh or just an exclamation of some kind, saying well, mother, mother sick. Um, them is just another way of saying them. It's not really a turn. That's just like a way of saying like uh, them. Um, it's like uh, like uh, Johnny them. Like Johnny and them, Johnny and them. Um, a pot cake is used to refer to a stray dog, um, or just like a, a do- I've seen it just used to refer to as a dog, where they look like, like like a big dog and be like, that's a pot cake, or like it's a like if a dog is a mixed breed and it's like a big dog. Usually, if it's like a, from, this is from my experience, but usually if it's like a uh, a pit bull, they usually call it a pot cake, um, especially if it's like a pit bull on the side of the road, because that's where like I've seen a lot. Of, there's a lot of like stray dogs around here. Um, so we call like a dog a pot cake, or you would say, oh, look at that. You could say dog as well, but that's just a, a term people use. Then there's switcher, which is lemonade. You would come over here and ask for like some switcher, or you could also just say lemonade. Like we, we have lemonade here, but you could also just say switcher. That's also like lemonade, we usually like, uh, like some of the lemonade we make here is made with lime. Um, so usually if you ask for switcher, you might get like a different taste of lemonade, but yeah, switcher is just another way of saying lemonade. Uh, what the vibe is, is, uh, a way of saying, what's up, it's, uh, it, it's just, like, what the vibe is, like, what's going on, what's happening, and you can say, ain't, like, e nothing, like, uh, like, oh, it's nothing, or e nothing, like, yeah, um, then this mash up, like, to destroy, like, like, there's a lot of songs, that say, like, mash it up, like, like, um, like, <laughs> I sound, like, so weird, like, like, because I feel like I'm dropping into, like, anyways, but, like, say, like, mash it up, or, like, to mash up something, or, like, destroy it, or break, like, when somebody's, like, I can mash up this, um, this, like, this macaroni, watching, uh, like, mash up this cornbread, like, they're saying, like, gonna destroy it, or gonna eat it, <laughs> um, and then there's the jitney, uh, jitney, which is another word for the bus, um, it's pretty straightforward, it's a jitney, uh, uh, and then I put some other phrases. Like these are the things are right, phrases, but it's sort of like just how like something could be said. Like like oh they're going to the airport. You would say like oh they is going to the airport. Or like where are you? Say where you at, be? Like and then boy is like a replacement for like a person. Like um like just where are you at? Like bay is like bay is like a person. Like it could be like referring to anybody. Uh, like like um. I'm not gonna explain dialect because I feel like it'd be a, it's a li- it's a little difficult to like really express dialect, um, but that's just sort of a little way to like convey it. Um, and I, a little disclaimer is like don't like 
obviously you can say these things. It's not like just like, oh, only behaving people say these things. But it's like, I feel I don't, I wouldn't just like say these randomly or out of nowhere. Like, I feel like it would be very, I feel like it's more off-putting and like almost like not insulting but like it would be weird to just be like oh hi hi uh to like go like to like somebody be like hi my name is mark it's good to see you and then you turn to like a behavior and be like hey yo what's good my bro <laughs> when the vibe is my mat like you know what i'm saying like don't it's just good to be like um i think it's just it's good to have that information or to understand like like, like if you were to come over here so it's gonna be like you don't have to say stuff like this but it's sort of just like saying it like so you understand what's being said and just see it as like a way of like oh this is just another form of language you know what i'm saying um but yeah and then that's about it now we have open q a so if anyone has any other questions about the bahamas or anything at all about just bohemian culture about anything of that sort Please feel free. I will leave the I will leave the stage open for like a good five minutes, um, and uh, and uh, but yeah, um, I spent a good bit of time putting this together. Um, I wanted to like I thought I always I've always said I want to do more educational stuff and have more of my streams be centered on being Bahamian because I feel like I'm I feel like. You don't see a lot of Bahamian people online, um, especially not a lot of Bahamian like uh, um, created, and that's like they don't exist. But it's like they're more in like their own space. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of Bahamian creators stay in that Bahamian space, but I've put myself sort of out there to where it's like I like it's a lot more like in an, like an Americanized space. You know what I'm saying? So it's like um. I think it's cool to like try and show my culture more. And plus, I want to be I want to be involved in my own culture more because I think I'm very detached from it more than I wish I than I want to be. Um, so I feel like it would be good to like have that. Um, to it sort of get to ex like share it and then learn with you all. You know what I'm saying? That's sort of my idea. We are still in the open. Also, hi panda. Did you go over the flag colors meanings and what do the flag colors have? The flag colors do have meaning. You're right. The, um, so let me see if I can, uh, let me just pull up the flag again real quick. Um, so, uh, the black, I believe, and I'm going to let the subject check, but from what I remember, the black on the flag represents the people as a nation. The yellow represents, I believe, the sun and our, uh, and then the blue represents our waters, I believe. I'm going to check that, but that's what I remember. Bahamian flag meanings. Uh. What? Why? Why Google give me a worksheet like it? No, I'm like I, I being a disgrace to the nation right now. Right. Yes. Okay. I was right. The aquamarine represents the sea. The gold represents the sun, and the black triangle represents the unity of the Bahamian people. So yes, the unity and togetherness of the people. That's uh. So that's what that stands for. The people, the sun, and the oceans. Or the sea. Sorry. Specifically, for when I said unity, it's like unity and strength of the people for the black triangle. But um, yeah, that's how I would just, that's how it would, it would be described. That's what the flag colors stand for. Um, that's cool. Thank you. I know, right? It's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah. Here we So, does anybody else have any other questions? Um, let me think. But yeah, as I was saying, sorry. Um, I've, uh, I, the, like, the most of the, whenever I say Bahamian creator on, like, TikTok and stuff, it's always like I look at the comments like always other Bahamians people. Could I go over food again? Oh for sure. Um yeah, I got you. So yeah. So um 
For foods, um, in the Bahamas, I uh, usually, our main export or our main, like, food is seafood because we're, like, very, oh, no, I almost said oceanic, uh, but, like, we're an island, and so seafood is our main food. Uh, we have, like, usually there's, like, conch, crack conch, conch fritters, crab, sauce, johnny bread, peas and rice, and most other fish foods. I believe the most popular food is grupa, grupa and salmon, um, are you see the foods that are go over? Uh, I can. Uh, here we go. I went over some of the other, some other like foods. Let me see if I can find. Here we go. Uh, this is guava duff, which is a popular dessert over here. It's made up of guava, which is a fruit, I believe. Um, and like this sort of this this dough, it's very sweet and it tastes very very good. And it has like this like the sauce that you put over it. Um. So there's some sauce that has like alcohol in it some that doesn't it's up to your choice and your preference really um that's guava duff then before that we have uh this is a crack conch um which is also something that's very popular here um conch is a sort of snee snail a snee snail a sea snail that like a donut don't it <sighs> boy so like a popular dish would be like crack kong and peas and rice. Um, plantain is also a big thing over here, but that's more like I think plantain is a more universal Caribbean food. Um, plantain is like a, if I'm wrong, if I'm not wrong, but plantain is just like it's like banana. It's like a type of banana, a banana-like food. That, that's that's yeah, that's a better way to say it. Um, and then we have uh, here we go. This is kong furs. Conch fritters is one, personally one of my favorites. I'm not a big conch person personally, um, but I do love me some. I, I love me some conch fritters with some with some fritter sauce. Um, not gonna lie to you, uh, not fritter sauce. It's not sauce made of fritters. That doesn't make any sense. But it's like this is usually the sauce you would see with it. Um, yeah, I'm a big uh, uh, conch fritters enjoyer. Um, and those are like, these are like the more popular foods. It's also like, um, as I said, like, if I, like, if I look up like Bahamian sauce, like chicken sauce, like, here we go. Like chicken sauce is also a very popular thing. I'm not a sauce person. That's not really my thing. Here's the thing. A lot of the foods I really don't, I'm not, I don't, I, I, I don't like peas. I don't like peas and rice that much. Um, but you know, I'll, 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 I'll share it for the culture though. But yeah, this is sort of chicken sauce. That's sort of that's sort of like what it looks like it's pretty good it's pretty refreshing food um i feel like a soup person um and then we have uh let me think i'm gonna show one more maybe um if i look up like crab and rice crab and rice uh is a very also very popular bahamian food um get over here as well but yeah um like to try some I'm, uh, yeah i i would love i i i think there's a lot of food here i wish like people could taste more because <laughs> i feel like a lot of creepy a lot of creepy food is very very good um and uh yeah i'd love for more people to have the ability to taste it and to try it um but yeah uh that's foods um we also went through over rake and scrape rake and scrape is a type of music um in the bahamas is a genre of traditional folk music that uses like saws, accordions, and goatskin drums usually. But there's also other instruments that can be used, like uh, and, and general Bahamian music stuff, like uh, like like uh, flutes, um, flutes, drums, trumpets. That's so those are very popular in like Bahamian music as well. That's also yeah, that's that's also look pretty good on audio. Um, <laughs> so that's right and scrape, and then Junkanoo is a we explained Junkanoo is a street festival. Um, they usually takes place on December 26th and January 1st. But also, like, the style of Junkanoo can happen at other times. Like, Junkanoo style parades. Like, they had one yesterday, I believe, for our Independence Day. Um, where people get up and they have these different, like, Junkanoo groups. Like, the Saxons, the, uh, I said the other ones, Warriors. That was not the one they said. But they have different ones that are, like, that go through and, like, do, like, these performances and these, like, costumes and like they play this music and stuff like that but yeah oh good stretch let's go here we go 
Uh, but yeah, do we have any other questions? I'll leave it open for three more minutes because we've been here for almost an hour and I wasn't even, I didn't even mean to be doing all that, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'll leave it for like three to one minutes. Um, but if nobody else has any more questions, um, we'll just leave it at that. I'm not a presenter, I am not a presenter, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not the one who, I'm not. Excuse me. Actually, I'll save this for the ending. But yeah. Um. Actually, I'll, I'll play some of the, uh, let's see if I can play the Reagan scrape. Here you go. So this is like great and straight music. Like, like this is like live music, so it's like um this is probably like something you like you hear on like, the side of the street, essentially. Not the side of the street, like as people just play and rake and scrape just on the side the like on the side of the road, like not like that. But like you know. Like if you like to walk up like a performance of like rake and scrape. That's cool, yeah, it's a fun time. Uh, hold on, I have a This is sort of what it looks like, just to show, again. So that's the saw, that's the accordion, that's the ghost coming in. First one, the saw is going crazy, not gonna lie to you. I actually played, uh, Rake and Scrape before, like, time music, like, I played, like, on, like, the, the saw, and, like, I, ba I did the drum before. It's pretty cool. You can vibe to it, it's a vibe. A lot of like Caribbean music, it made me was a really good vibe. It's a really nice vibe. It feels like it gets you want like gets you want to like get up and dance or like tap your foot. It's a lot of Caribbean music. It's really good. Uh, but yeah. So, um, I'm gonna play this one. I want to thank you all so so much for watching this. Um, here we go. That's the show. That's the game. Uh, <laughs> Oh, but that's it. Um, that's it for my little presentation. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Happy 50th Independence Bahamas. Uh, now, uh, I will read out this note here. Be sure to Google, like, half of what I said and do your own research. I am not a professional. I do not get out that much, truly. a very I am a very poor educational resource. I, personally, as I said already, I'm a little more disconnected from my culture and, like, behavior culture than I wish I was. Um, and I want to get into it more. But... The way this game lets me, like, do my own, like, go into a little, little research and stuff like that. And, like, remember things that I know I've been taught, but I probably, like, for have forgotten about. Like, the national bird and, like, the national tree, stuff like that. Like, that's, like, like the, uh, who our prime minister is. Like, if you ask me who my prime minister is, I probably would still say Hubert Minister, because that's the only name I remember. Um, and it, it is not Hubert Minister, it's something Davis. Um. <laughs> uh. So, um, and that's important stuff for me to know. Um, and that's on me, and that's why I want to learn more. So yeah, I um, want to thank you all so much, and I hope you all could learn something from this. Um, and um, that's it. Um, but you're my favorite educational streamer. Aw, that's that that is a high honor. I appreciate that a lot. I like doing little stuff like this. The last time I did something like this, it was for Juneteenth, I believe, two years ago, or last, either last year or two years ago. Um, and I said I wanted to do more streams like this, even though I'm not. I'm not the best resource for educational stuff, but if I can open the gates for anything for anybody, then that's all I would like to do. So, yeah.